Happy Wednesday. So, an update on my ancestry DNA. Pardon me for talking with a mouthful. I have this half sister, and I don't know where she came from. I pretty much determined that my father, who I've been told is my father, is not my father. I'm not sad about that. I'm a little annoyed that I didn't know before now, but I'm not, not really sad that I'm not related to him. He was an awful human being. Now my people that are his biological children would probably have something different to say about that. They grew up with him. Maybe they saw a different side of him. I don't know. But he was awful. He was an awful human. According to everyone that I've talked to and my own experience, he was very manipulative. He was abusive. He was really unpleasant. Like physically abusive. And emotionally, my... My mother could attest to that if she was still alive, and she really didn't have much to say about anything. She just kept her mouth shut, which is surprising, you know, with the amount of narcissism in that woman. Um, that being said, though, this half-sister is uh, matched on my mother's side. She's pretty adamant that her mother is her mother, and I am... Obviously, my mother's daughter, because we look, I look like her. So I don't know how this works. Like, I don't understand. How did she have a child when I was six? I mean, she was a big woman, so I wouldn't have physically known. But how would she have a child when I was six years old? That I don't remember. I don't know. It's very confusing. And I mean, the DNA match is she's definitely a half sibling and it's definitely all the matches are on, on the maternal side so i don't i don't know what to do from here <sighs> and she doesn't really deal with social media or anything i think she's kind of <laughs> forgotten about me um <laughs> she was very surprised to find out she had a half sibling that's for sure and you know so was i because this half sibling is uh <clears throat> i would have figured it would have been on the other side like the father's side and it would have been you know the one that I believed was my father all these years who turns out is not according to the DNA like I have no matches on that side I have a couple that are like fifth and sixth grandfather back but I have nothing past that so I don't know how that And I know other people have been tested because I've talked to them. They saw my my family tree on, I think it was Heritage or something. I can't even remember. I, have, I haven't uploaded freaking everything. But they saw it on there and I got contacted. And it's like, oh, uh, my grandmother and your grandmother were sisters. I should have a DNA match there, but I don't. So, I don't know. It's very, um, hmm, very frustrating. Because it's not like I can ask her questions. And even if she was alive, my mother, if she even if she was alive, she wouldn't tell me. She's just that kind of person. She would keep that from me. She also didn't want to find out about her biological family, which, you know, adoptees are like that. They, some of them don't want to find out. They don't care. Some of them do. That's a personal choice, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. I wanted to know, though, because I'm literally... At this point, finding out that my father is not my father, he's also dead. I'm not sad about it. Either way, he, again, horrible person. I'm literally alone, though, except for this new half-sister that I found, and she's on my mother's side, and I don't understand! Does anybody understand the ancestry DNA? Can anybody help me with that? Like, I, mm, I need help. 